the patrol boat river, known as the PBR. A surviving PBR is moored on Muskegon Lake in Michigan. The boat is revolutionary. It doesn't have a propeller. It has engineering more associated with hot tubs. Using a technology adapted by the Jacuzzi brothers, and I'm not making that up, they were able to contract manufacture of 30 foot long fiberglass boats that had only a two foot draft that didn't have to rely on rudders and propellers that could get snagged on all kinds of obstructions in that kind of environment. It simply used a water jet to draw in the water and shoot it out under pressure out the back and these were tremendously maneuverable and rather swift boats. Can you think of a wider range of application from a hot tub jet to a riverine warship? The water jet pumps forced pressurized water through stern nozzles at 96,000 gallons a minute. This boat was truly unique in the fact that it gave people the opportunity to operate in shallow waters to take the fight to the enemy because they thought, oh, I can go hide here. Those big ships can't come up here. The PBR Mark I was first deployed in Vietnam in March 1966. It quickly made an impact. The PBR's ability to penetrate shallow rivers helped cut North Vietnamese supply lines. But while they could get upriver, it soon became clear that PBR fiberglass hulls offered little protection in combat. The casualty rate for a PBR sailor was high. There's nowhere to hide when you're out in the open water. There's only limited armor. So it basically came to alertness, speed, and the ability to hit back as fast as you can with uh, machine guns and, and mortars. With limited protection, the PBR crews relied on their weapons. At the front were twin 50 caliber machine guns. Most common weapon in the back is the AF-50 cal, but often there was a 60 millimeter naval mortar. They also had a Mark 18 grenade launcher. Mark 18 is hand cranked, fired 40 mic grenade rounds like you see guys fire shoulder fired grenade launchers, fired the same round. It evolved into the Mark 19, which is a fully automatic grenade launcher, which I served behind and crewed in uh, Afghanistan a few times, uh, and was truly, truly unique piece of equipment that started out for PBRs. In Vietnam, Keith Gottschell was responsible for his PBR's engines, but knew the twin 50 cals well. I had to know the insides and outs. In fact, uh, that one night we were in a firefight and mine jammed on me. I took it apart, unjammed it, put it back together in the dark and got it firing again. PBR crews carried out a variety of combat tasks. Tours were often stressful. Sometimes you might desert ground troops, might take a doctor into a village, check sampans, check river traffic, uh, night patrols. Uh, nobody's supposed to be on the river, so you're always on the lookout for someone that was there. So tense, tense nights, yeah. PBRs were one of Vietnam's toughest duties, 